We bring to you the inspired word of God as you listen to the teachings and preachings of the servant of God, Hosanna David, preaching the end time gospel. Lord, we we'll bring the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you this morning. Which other God have we on earth and in heaven except you? Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let the spirit of the living God arise and let dead bones receive life. Let that same spirit that visited the dead body of Jesus in the grave arise. And let every mortal body be quickened today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let those lying in their graves flat be loose and let them go. Amen. We saturate this place with the fire of God most high. Amen. We cover this auditorium with the blood of Jesus. Amen. It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass, for God is with us. There is no weapon in heaven and on earth and under the world fashioned against you, O child of God that shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment is condemned already in the name of Jesus. Wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. You are loose. I say you are loose. Your husband is loose. Your family is loose. Your children are loose. In the name of Jesus. If the Son of Man sets you free, you will be free indeed. I say today is the day of your freedom. I see souls being loose in this house. I say souls are being loose in this house. You are one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, speak to us that same word. A hymn writer said, that who's a mighty word. Chaos and darkness heard and took their flight. Lord, release that same word into every darkness in the life of your children. Let there be total freedom in this house this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. That same voice that said, Lazarus, come forth. Let that same voice be active in your life today. Let that same voice that said, lose him and let him go. Let that same voice be active in your life today. Holy Spirit of God be here. We need you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Pray the God our provider. Jehovah Rafaka, the God our healer. If you are clapping for him, stand up on your feet. Raise a shout of joy and clap for this great God. Somebody shout hallelujah. I say, living souls in the house, wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Visited in heavenly places. Today is a day of freedom. Can you please just turn to your neighbor and talk to your neighbor gently that I have been waiting for so long Talk to somebody, talk to somebody that I have been waiting for so long, for so long. to tell you this. So you, this. You, need to be loose. you need to be loose. Talk to the other side, turn to the other side, tell your neighbor, the way I see you today, the way I see you, today you need to be set loose. If you see an old woman, 80 years plus, running on the road, even if you ask the old woman who is pursuing you, whether she answers you or not, you will run. 
on the farm road, you see an old woman sweating and running. Mama, what is the problem? You see her running. Nobody will advise you to run for your life. If somebody who has enjoyed life, whose mates are in the grave is running, do you still need any advice or counselor to advise you to run? When you see cripples who cannot even leap and escape for their lives, running, people who attend weak, I mean weaklings, people who are so weak, exercising their faith, and you are still looking so cute and so gentle, bound in chains. Like in that day when the man of God, Paul and Silas, they were in chains. But they said, despite our chains, despite the humiliation we face today, we will still open our mouth and sing and praise this God for our freedom. But the rest prisoners, they were just being nice and so cute. This is not the time to be cute and nice. This is the time to shout for freedom. This is the time to say, I am tired of this situation. I can no longer continue in this same situation. The Bible says, Anna used to go to Shiloh year after year. A time came and said, how long will I continue to receive double portion? What I need is not the husband's love. It has been there for me all this while. I need to carry my own baby. Today, you can eat and drink. I am going to the temple of the Lord. I don't need anybody to come to con to connect me to this great God. I believe if I can just talk to this God, this God that answers prayers, this same God will hear me. As from the time of John, all till now, until Jesus will come, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and only the weak ones, only the weak ones, only the ones who just say, our father in heaven, and they will just be just in a way. Only those ones. Somebody is saying no. I say, only those who come to church, and when they are preaching, when they are praying, they will be Facebooking. Only those ones. You don't know my Bible. You don't know the version I'm quoting from. The Bible says, the violent, I mean, somebody be on your feet. Somebody be on your feet. I said, the violent. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not seeing violence in you. I'm not seeing violence in anybody. Somebody say, the violent. The violent. Take it by what? By force. Take it by what? By force. Be seated. John chapter 11. I will read from verse 41. Lose him and let him go. Then they took away the stones from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee and thou hast heard me. And I knew, I knew before, not I know. I knew, I knew, even before now, that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Look at verse 43. And when he thus had spoken, he cried, With what? With what? Is it with a still small voice? There are different types and different kinds of prayers. There are times you roll on the ground and you cry with tears when you ask God for forgiveness. There are also at times when you pray for people and you just say god protect this my people thank you for the peace you have been given to them thank you for your protection all this why continue your work no sweating but there are times 
Somebody needs to cry out with a loud voice. The same Jesus who said, I knew you have always heard me. That Jesus knew that that prayer he wanted to pray is not something you said, go. Your faith has healed you. We are talking about calling forth the dead from the grave. It involves a lot of processes. Bringing back the soul and the spirit and immediately causing the body that has started deteriorating, the body that has already experienced decay, back to life again. The whole blood has been dried up, no fluid again. Everything deteriorated. So Jesus shouted with a loud voice. And what did he say? Look at it. Specific prayer. Very short. So concise. Lazarus did what? Come forth. Small prayer. Short. Powerful. Lazarus. Come what? Come forth. Let me just give you a very small testimony. Though it's big. Do you know what it means when your phone, eh, your phone you've used for years, have a lot of numbers inside of it if the phone gets lost? Especially some of us that use our phones as diary. Save everything inside, save books inside, save so many things inside. All your diary, your phone book, everything gets lost. You know what it means. And you can't retrieve anything again. You start all over again. And when you have a laptop, and you have a lot of things inside, documents inside, and the thing crash. I've not given this testimony before. Neither have I shared it with anybody since last year. My laptop was making some noise. Bam, 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 bam. I couldn't. I didn't know what to do. So I said, we are the people God is using. I've heard testimonies of people who sprinkled anointing water upon fans like this and it is started blowing dvds technicians did that couldn't repair and the thing immediately they offered prayers the thing started working i said i will try my own so i fetched water prayed over the water i never cared whether the water will spoil it i sprinkled it upon it that was even when an engineer has tried. I said, I can't lose things inside this place. That was the first thing I bought so far when I started my ministry. The first money I even bought it and paid instrumentally. I said, how dare you laptop? You I suffered for and purchased with my own money. Misbehaving. I just sprinkled this water and prayed. This is that is working. See, today it's working. Till today, I mean since last year, till today. Oh, if you have faith and you speak to this mountain, that all oh, ye mountain, I know before I was born you have been here. The hills and the mountain, I know before I was brought forth into this world, you have been here. But by faith, According to the word of God, I say, pick yourself, whether you have legs or not, I don't care to know. Pick yourself, go to the sea, and throw yourself there. The Bible says, it will what? It will what? So Jesus spoke forth. He said, Lazarus, come forth. And when this man came out, He still looked like a dead body because he was still on grave clothes. Jesus looked at him and said, This man that has been set loose is still under some levels of limitation. Now, lose him and let him what? Lose him and let him what? Lose him and let him go. There are people that need to be loose today. There are people that need to lose themselves. There are others 
that need a higher power, a higher authority to set them loose. Whichever category you fall into, today is the day of your deliverance. So, when the Bible says Lazarus was bound both hands and leg, in those days, they don't use coffee to bury people. They wrap them. They use linen or wool to wrap them very well. So this man was, was well wrapped and prepared for burial. And as he came forth with those clothes, he was still bound. There are many times people are called forth from the dead. And they look at themselves and see grave clothes. They refuse to come out. What am I coming out with these clothes for? In fact, there are people today eh, that choose to be prisoners in America that will be free men in Nigeria. I've heard people said it. They say, yeah, this will not pass prison. In fact, somebody said, if Africans go to hell, especially Nigerians, they will not be strangers. May God forgive that man. Don't know what hell is. Even after 100 years, you will still be stranger. People who have been called forth from the dead, but choose to be slaves. Jesus said, lose him and let him go. I remember in Acts of Apostles chapter 16, you see Paul and Silas attending to a bond girl, a slave girl. This girl was in three types of slavery. She was physically a slave to a master. Not just a master, but masters. My Bible says masters. Physically, she had been sold as a slave. Then spiritually, she was enslaved by a serpent demon. A python, Apollo's python. The Greek word means a serpent spirit. This girl was enslaved spiritually, physically she was a slave. But the one that pays me most is that even in her mind, she was still enslaved. Somebody may ask me, do you know her mind? Yes, I knew her mind. I know her mind. When this girl was set loose, she was being used to make money for the masters. And when she was set loose, she couldn't even explain. She knew the truth. She was saying, these are the children of the living God, showing you the way of salvation. But when this girl was loose, she couldn't speak for those that set her free. If she had said, master, I've been enslaved here this while, oh, it's just a kind of funny, I've been consulting demons. She never said that. She allowed Paul and Silas to be humiliated and put into prison. Where was she when those that delivered her were going into imprisonment? So even in her mind, she had already concluded that she wants to remain a slave. If we look at lives of individuals in this place, are we not going to see boys instead of husbands? Are we not going to see? There are people, see, your meek, your meek and your oil last only in your youthful age. Your meek as a girl and your oil eh, flourishes in your youthful age. A time we come, you pass by, nobody will look. There are people that are so, so pretty, so beautiful today, but tomorrow they will be very and terribly ugly. That's all, that some small children will look at you and say, she looks like the old witch we saw in that film. Because of the physical appearance alone. Some people, because of Mr. Biggs, because, because of Tatalaza, uh, just uh, Indomie and all these things, they are giving away their oil. Instead of them, you're supposed to be breastfeeding by now. In a, in a, not just in a man's house, but in a husband's house. People choose to be slaves. These are the kind of people I call free slaves. They are free slaves. Look at Exodus chapter 21. I want to read from verse 5. And if 
the servant plainly say that means plainly say after the deliverance after they have been set loose if they say with their mouth and said i love my master oh even my wife and my children i will not go out free this is a slave that's supposed to go free from the master he said if the slave says i love my master even my wife loves my master my children they all love my master i will not go free now look at the condition i mean the creator who is against slavery now says verses then his master shall bring him unto the judges he shall also bring him to the door unto the door post and his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall serve him forever if there are people who have been set loose but refuse to go loose god said leave them alone but this one let there be a mark of slavery a mark that will never wipe out forever and as you the master gives the mark to the slave let them remain their slaves forever even in the presence of the elders and the judges oh, no size is prescribed here he said hold oh, use a hot iron put hole inside if possible big one and they will remain slaves forever both the man the children and the wife why we tell people pray this prayer after me it's not because we like your voice but the bible says with the mouth confession is made unto salvation yes you have believed with your heart according to romans 10 9 10 you have believed with your heart unto righteousness yes we agree you have believed but you have to make confession with your own words, with your own mouth. It is then you get your salvation. It is then you get saved. So when you see somebody who have sold their souls to the devil, I say, devil, Satan, I give you my life. I give you everything. Take charge. And the person wants to repent. You still make the person to confess the same Jesus. The person has believed. Now say it after me. As you say it, Jesus will be saying, yes, you are inviting me. I'm your owner. I'm coming. I've been waiting for this moment. There are people that need freedom in this place. And anybody that is sleeping, that is your own kind of slavery. How can, they said, uh, one person said, he said, you know, they go to America, go play. Ibo man, go to America. Now, appeal draft. Now, you call the play for America. That person, eh, he calls they high well, well. You don't suffer rich there, finish. Now draft. Now you call the play with soft drink. Your mama go pray this side there. Eh? Deliverance go meet you for there. It would have been so possible when Lazarus came up, came out of the grave and looked at himself and said, Ha, ah, when are they life? I know where this can find clothes. Oh. You know when some people die, that is when the children will build houses for them. That is when they will cook the best food. Even the ones that were not taking care of the parents, that is when they will wake up and know they had parents. And when a dead man wakes up and sees all those beautiful clothes, new shoes, everything new, with this fine coffee, I should go back to this world. When Sunday, and I tell you, no Sunday eat me. I don't even need food. I don't hustle again. Please leave me, don't lose me. To that be so possible. These are the kind of people I call free slaves. Free what? Can you pray one prayer? Lift up your right hand. Can you say, Oh Lord, my father? Can somebody say, My father, my father? If there is any way I enslave myself, let me be loose. Let me be loose. Let me be loose. Let me be loose. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Before we pray, I see a man 
in Matthew chapter 12 verse 13, this man had a chivalrous hand. The hand was a withered hand. The hand was withered, bent like this. When they brought this man to Jesus, say, is it right to perform miracles? To heal on the Sabbath. And Jesus said, it's good to do good on the Sabbath. Too. If what you want to do is good, do it. Jesus turned to the man and said, stretch forth this your hand. This your shriveled hand. Stretch it. Do you know what it means? Eh? If you know what it means, when you have a permanent scar and somebody is asking you to stretch that hand, that naturally can never be stressed. Jesus says, stress it forth. And the, the man did what? Stretch for the hand. I don't know how the legs, the feet of Lazarus were bound. It's either they bound the two together or they wrapped them separately. But this man, when Jesus said, come forth. Lazarus was able to come forth. No complaint. With the feet bound. How many of us are ready to come forth today? Our father made an announcement. It's not every prayer you receive generally. There are some things people need to say and renounce with their mouth. And as you tell the man of God your problems, God will just be bringing solution and revealing some things. He did. You don't even know. God will say, this is the solution. Do it like this. Just ask this question. It will be solved. And the thing will just work out well. Like when you click the right key in your computer, you get the desired results. We are living in a world that is being controlled with rules of engagement. You have the right to say, leave me alone. You demons, leave me alone. You still have the right to say, feel okay. Feel okay here. Jesus in those days, we only ask you, do you want to be free? Do you want to be healed? Because he knows that we were created in the image and after the likeness of God. And one thing that is unique about man is that man has an in independent will. God creates us like himself. The image has to do with the physical form. The likeness has to do with the behaviors and what make up God. And one of it is the independent way. Who they plan for God? You they plan for him? Now you they give God plan. It is when we said, God, I give you my will. God can feel okay. But when we don't give him the chance, he will never come. Can somebody just lift up your hand as we rise up? Lift up your hands as we rise up. I will take this song. There are things we need to surrender. If a full grown free man takes their own leg, takes his own leg to a herbalist and submits his destiny, no prayer will set you free unless you believe. If you know, the Bible says, and they resisted God because of unbelief. And it's painful that even today, if any denomination comes up and said, Lucifer Deliverance Church, and people are passing by with their poverty, with barrenness, and sees it, and see Lucifer and say, forget waiting the right for more to enter inside, make it carry you, go where you they go. Say so the inscription on the side on the, 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 the body of the car doesn't mean anything. Just the work. For, remove the Lucifer. Take church. Take, take deliverance by faith and go inside. Just cover the church with the blood of Jesus. Get your deliverance and go. And as you enter, you enter Lucifer's cage. The money physically is given, but the soul is caged. Can you lift up your right hand? I surrender. I surrender. If you want to be free, sing the song. Oh, I surrender. I surrender. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand.
Rise up and lift up your two hands. Lord, we release your power in this house. We release the power of freedom in this house. Let people be set loose. Let children be loose. Let husbands be loose. Let wounds be loose. In the name of Jesus. you. As you said, behold I knock. If any man hears my voice and open, I will come in and not just sit and watch, but I will dine with him. Me and my father. Lord, enter this heart. Amen. Let there be freedom in your life. Amen. I said, let there be freedom now. Amen. You are losing in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are losing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Marine spirits, lose your hold. Yes. Demonic powers, lose your hold. Yes. Get your freedom. Amen. Holy Spirit of God, continue your work. Yes, Lord. Let nobody leave this house except being freed. Mm. You are delivered. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.egoeyeopener.com. Email us at hosannadavid at ymail.com or info at egoeyeopener.com. God bless you.